my camera. This is Jack's driving, folks. <laughs> good morning, folks. Man. Good morning. Welcome back to my shaky channel this morning. It's Jack's driving, and we're heading across to Where are we going, London bro? Links. London. We're going to London. London. London links to see um, to make a homage to the uh, the right album cover by Julian Cope. Julian Cope. Right. Julian Cope was in Tears for Fears. No, no, he was in Tears. Teardrop explodes. Uh, Teardrop explodes. And there's a um, solo artist. The song. Come to expect my device or something. My reward. Reward. Um, so we're going to see some standing stones, but they are on a bro. Shut your mouth. Woman's shut your mouth. Golf course. On this golf course, by the way, a very interesting fact about this women's golf course at uh, London Links is the oldest women's golf course in Scotland or in the United Kingdom. Is it? Yes. So Maybe in the world. I should look up some facts before we get in there, folks. But anyway, I'm just off the Tate Bridge. I'm on Chinma in with you when we get nearer to uh, London. Right, our route today takes us through Kenback, folks. So much excitement because we have to go past that waterfall. <laughs> so, will they be walking on it? It's been raining quite a lot lately, so maybe. But um, I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a wee trickle. That's my bet. What do you think? I think it'll just be an average sort an of average yeah. um, amount. So, okay, well, yeah. that's coming up soon, folks. Stay tuned once again. Stay tuned. There's the old bridge again. A quick stop here in Cedars for the Pilgrim, the Pilgrim Way. Look, the Five Pilgrim Way. So there's the village of Cedars. What lies ahead is often unknown, but keep travelling, folks. Right, so there we go, folks. That's the old bridge off Pit Scotty. That's like a museum down there. It's a very picturesque little place. Now, just some of these things that go around your neck, folks. Look, used to get tied up and left for people to stone you. This is the way house. So, as I said, this is uh, Cedars. Is it Cedars we are? I forgot where we are. I think it's the Cedars. Lovely little um, historic place, part of the Pilgrim Way. Uh, from North Queensferry all the way through to St Andrews. Mm. Which I got over found. Well, I, I mean, this is like uh, the Provost and, and the Toby Jug style. Remember the Toby Jugs yes. used to get? Um, and then we have a sort of like a hunting scene here with the horse, the horses and the, the huntsmen. And there's got a dead figure here. Most of escaped. I don't know. And then we've got these two strange smiling women. So I don't know what this is. All. I mean, these arches. So goodness knows what it is. Mm. Very unusual. Yeah. The old seed is in, bar opens at four o'clock. Ancient bar. And this is the museum folks, the folk the, the folk museum folks. That's open today and it's a pop-up cake shop and tea room. Right, okay. Yeah. Which is quite safe because it's uh not, not a lot of resin in here. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, uh, yeah, right. 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 Sandpaper from the, yeah. the Cedars Woodcrafters. Also at Comrie Croft. He actually stays in Comrie, believe it or not. Yeah, maybe. Bizarre. Well, I'm right, going to give him a spiz badge. London Ladies Golf Club, London Lynx. Oh, those women and playing golf. golf. Oh, nothing worse. Women playing uh, golf. No parking course exercise. Folks, this is where it is. It's London Ladies Golf Club. This is where the uh, the stones are. So, we've been directed by the uh, the starter guy at the uh, golf course. So, you walk along the side of the wall, and then they're just up here on the uh, right-hand side. And we've got to be aware of people playing golf, because it's in, right in the middle of a golf course. Jack's about to try something with Bluetooth, he said. So it's quite a scenic setting here, folks. Nice little hill up there. Nice little village. And as I said, this is a ladies-only golf course. And is that sexist these days? I don't know. 
Hmm. So in this day and age of uh, equality, folks, this is a ladies only golf course. Oh. Now, if this was a men's only course, I think it'd be like an uproar. I don't know. No, either. So now, because it's a ladies course, should we cause an uproar? I don't know. That's what, um, that's the age that we live in, folks. Going down though, so we might have to wait just a couple of minutes before we can go in there. Touch them. And touch them. Which one's a recumbent stone? Or is it not such a thing? No, it was. Uh, or recumbent's lying down, yeah. isn't it? So. These ones are just upright stuff. So to give an idea of some skill, folks, we're we'll going to stand beside them just shortly. Just when these ladies have finished playing golf, just to show you the actual physical size of the actual uh, stones. They are huge. Here we are then folks, we're right at the stones and they are huge, they are massive and ancient, 3,000 years old roughly. Yeah. Like here's the, the main two just here and uh, been on many a book, many a magazine and Julian Cope's album allegedly, which I put a picture of here, which was called Right. I think there's people playing golf, just got to be careful. Look, there's the stones there, look. So I'm just going to stand beside one of them, but they are massive, folks. Look. Huge. It's like the ones up on the Isle of Sky, the, Kaz the Calendish stones, I think you call them. Very similar. Let's try and get a picture from just down here. get some uh, yeah, free time here there's only one person playing so um, yeah these are awesome awesome stones um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a good yeah 8.5 on this spezometer I think they're some of the best stones I've seen just a pity they're actually in the middle of a golf course if they've been up a kind of massive glen with a big hike to get there I've we'll scored them maybe half a mark more but yeah very impressive huge big stones so yes I like that we came down stones that should be the new um, spiz I know I'm trying to get a page how about that's the one yeah baby central stores I'm trying to go there a little bit and see if there's a space Robinson. Right, a quick stop here at Leaven, folks. I've seen some here. May as well go and have a look at the the beach. It's not the best of beaches in Leaven, but it's, it's fine. It stretches a little bit along this kind of coastline. It's quite stony, this bit. Let me show you. Let me show you. Here it is. It's actually not too bad, actually. It's not, not too bad. It's like looking over there. So you can actually walk all the way around there. Oh, there's better claw and the. Uh, Thingy rock, what you call it, bass rock. So yeah, it's not a bad little coastline, I suppose. That's where we're parked there, just in the uh, car park today. Right, we just climbed up from the car park on the Fife Coastal Path. This is the old railway line, it used to run up and down the coast here, like many of the other ones. Gone. With the Beecham's cuts, with the Beecham. That's where the park just down there beside the sea. So this is where we park today folks. Temple car park at Leven. So we're leaving, leaving. 
leaving, leaving. Lago Law, that's what I was called that. Lago Law? What do you think about Lago Law? You to investigate that when it goes to Lago yeah. Law. Why go on holidays? Right? Um, well, yes, we're going back via side roads as well to see where we're going to end up. Much sure. excitement, folks. An old railway bridge, look. Oh, derelict railway bridge. Up the Leaven Line. That's oh, yeah. a good one as well, look. Yeah, so that's quite uh, substantial. Structure the steepness of traffic in S, folks. Look at it. Wow. The steepest uh, tunes in Scotland. Welcome to Strath Strathcaness. Here we go. Is that how they speak in Strathcaness? I don't know. Strathcaness. Strathcaness. That's the hidden beach it was the other week. All right. Smith Beach, Smith Bay's over there. Evening folks, good evening. Welcome back to Arbroath Cliffs. It's six o'clock after work. We've come for a walk because it's such a nice day. However, however, guess what? Forecast was for a nice night, but there's a big storm coming. Let me turn this around and show you. It seems to be a regular occurrence on my channel. There's a storm coming. <laughs> there it is. There's the storm coming. Now, just check the app. One hour we've got until that hits us. But it's meant to be um, solar flares tonight, so a northern lights type of night. Whether or not it's gonna happen with the clouds now coming in is another scenario. So let's just go for a quick walk and um, see where we go. A bit unfortunate because it's such a nice night. And I see the forecast was good. But as we keep saying in Scotland, the forecast changes every 10 minutes. We'll try and get along as far as the deal's heat and then we'll turn back. So sorry folks, just the usual um, cliff walk. If there's anything exciting to put on, I'll uh, stick it on here for you. So just check the uh, app there again. Yeah, so Dundee, it's raining at the minute. So dark clouds, look at here, Arbroath. It's always blue skies in Arbroath. Sun always shines in Arbroath. Right, remember last time I was down here, folks, it was like... Uh, a bit later at night, it was getting dark, and uh, the Coast Guard went out. Well, um, I think it turned out somebody had fallen and broken their leg or their ankle, so uh, they couldn't quite figure out where they had fallen. But they did find the person, and the person was uh, was okay. So that was all good news. The seagulls are back. So, long drop down folks, a lot of uh, erosion here, got to be very careful, I'll say that when I come past here, look at that, look, the path and the drop down there, horrific. So always pay attention when you come along the cliffs. Right, this is Dickmont Den folks, the big uh, den that goes up. So, this is a good spot here for uh, watching dolphins. Uh, tonight, can't see anything at the minute. You always got to be patient here. As I keep saying in the videos, be patient and you will see something. Um, the sea is a little bit rough tonight, so maybe not. But uh, always keep your eyes focused just out a little bit from the, the cliff edge and you just never know what you might see. I'm actually getting a little bit worried about the storm. It's gonna, I think, be one of these big storms that comes right in, has what I call Florida rain, pours down for like half an hour and then goes away again. So it might be good rainbow weather. Might go sit down by the harbour. We might get a good uh, rainbow effect tonight, folks. It's hard to make out on camera, but it's, uh, it's coming in, folks. It's coming in. Should have gone up to Montrose tonight. That's where the blue skies are. But uh, I've right, just checked the app again, folks. It said it's going to be here in 15 minutes. 15 minutes of the storm, so I better head back. Look at that. A bit of a beast. A beast of a storm. We'll get back to the car in time before it comes. It's 
So tonight we have pigeons versus seagulls. Pigeons. Seagulls. It's like the, what's that musical? Where they all fight. Put them all. Who's going to win? Seagulls or pigeons? Why are they all fleeing about? Do they know something that we don't know? So maybe an earthquake. I'll go around a bit and have a closer look and see why they're all fleeing about. There's actually hundreds of them, thousands. Um, something must have upset them. Maybe it's a whale. <laughs> no, no chance of whale. Mind you, I haven't said that. There was a whale spotted near St Andrews the other night. So they're getting more and more common on this coast. I need to pay attention here. I'm scared in case I trip and fall. I'm taking the mic off for a minute because the wind's died down a bit and uh, just the noise of the seagulls and the pigeons if we can pick it up on the camera it's just gone still so that means it's the calm before the storm it's just going like no wind at all it's a bit of exposure on this camera it's annoying yeah pigeons are going on in groups and so are the seagulls so I think they're getting up for a big fight. That's like close encounters. Do, 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 do. So thanks so much for watching tonight's little walk, folks. The storm is right above me. So keep tuned to the end, just in case uh, the storm does actually appear. So far it's dry, but what will happen in the next 10, 15 minutes? Stay tuned. See you soon, folks. Bye-bye. Right, thanks so much for watching today's video folks it's been very enjoyable and um we'll see you on the next adventure thank you bye bye now